class, welcome back at ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon ay evaluating function. So, paano ba tayo nag-evaluate ng function? So, to evaluate a function, we simply replace the variable with a given number or expression. It means, meron tayong given function and also a given number or expression wherein yung given number or expression na iyon ay isasubstitute lang natin sa variable nung function. So, I have here three examples wherein ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano natin yan isasolve. So, let's start with number one. So, ang number one natin ay evaluate f of x equals 4x plus 5 when x equals 3. So, ito yan. So, again, ang given function natin ay 4x plus, f of x equals 4x plus 5 when x equals 3. So, again, class, itong function natin ay f of x, hindi naman yan laging f of x. So, pwede tayo gumamit ng mga iba pang letter like g of x, h of x. So, ngayon, ang given natin ay f of x. So, para masolve natin ito, isasubstitute lang natin si 3 dito sa x. So, magkakaroon tayo kapag sinolve natin itong f of x equals 4x plus 5. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 4 and then i-insert lang natin. Ayan. So, di ba 4x? So, i-insert lang natin si 3 doon sa x. So, magiging 4 times ay, sorry. 4 times 3. Ayan. So, again, substitute lang natin si 3 sa x. So, Next is simplify. So, di ba kapag gaganyan, parenthesis, so multiplication. So, we have 4 times 3, we have 12, and then copy lang natin yung plus 5, and then simplify, we have 12 plus 5 equals 17. So, the answer is 17. So, ganun lang mag-evaluate ng function. Again, this is Ayan, so number 2 natin, we have evaluate f of x equals x squared minus 5x plus 2 when x equals negative 2. So again, si negative 2 ay isasubstitute lang natin sa lahat ng x. So magiging ganito siya. Ayan, so isasubstitute lang natin, ito yung mga x niya. Ayan. So, papalitan lang natin nung given number, which is negative 2. So, negative 2, negative 2. Ayan. Next, simplify. We have negative 2 squared. So, we have negative 2 times negative 2. Meron tayong positive 4. Then, dito naman, negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10. So, plus 10. And then, copy natin yung plus 2. So, laging left to right tayo kapag nag-simplify. And then, always apply the PEMDAS. Okay, so 4 plus 10 plus 2 is equal to positive 16. So, we have the answer which is 16. Ito yung ating final answer. So, ganun lang siya. Ayan, so example number 3, we have f of x equals negative x squared plus 3x plus 4. So, find f of negative 1, f of 0, and f of 2. So, pwedeng isang given na function, tapos maraming pinapahanap. Again, lahat naman yan, isasubstitute lang natin sa same function, which is the f of x equals negative x squared plus 3x plus 4. So, let's start with f of negative 1. So, kopyahin lang natin yung ating function. So, ang tama class dyan ha, kasi kanina yung number 1 and number 2 natin, dinadirect ko na. So, dapat yung x, papalitan natin yan yung number na and evaluate natin like this. F of x, kopyahin ko muna yung function, which is negative x squared plus 3x plus 4. So, kapag complete solution yung hinihingi sa atin at yung tama, ganito dapat. Papalitan natin to ng f of negative 1. Since ang pinapa-evaluate sa ating una ay negative 1. So, ganun din dito ko lang sa example number 2. Dapat ito ay merong 
f of negative 2. Ganyan dapat siya. Okay? So, f of negative... Balik tayo dito. f of negative 1 equals... We have... Substitute natin yung negative 1 or yung negative 1 sa lahat ng x. So, magiging ganito siya. Para kung medyo nalilito, pwede naman kayong mag ganito muna sa kanyo i-substitute. Ayan. So, tinanggal ko yung mga x. Ayan. 3x. Blank lang. Kasi papalitan natin yan itong pinapa-evaluate. Which is negative 1. So, negative 1. And then, dito rin negative 1. And then, simplify equals we have so, negative 1 times negative 1 positive 1. Pero kasi may negative dito sa labas which is yung multiply so naging positive. Again, negative 1 squared means negative 1 times negative 1 but since we have negative sa labas, kasi diba negative x squared yan, so magiging positive. Negative 1 times negative 1 pas positive 1 times negative we have negative 1. And then, next we have, so, positive 3 times negative 1. So, magiging negative. So, negative 3. Therefore, minus 3 yan. Negative 3. Next, copy yung ating titirang 4. Plus 4. So, we have negative 1 minus 3. So, simplify muna natin to. Para di kayo malito. We have negative 4. Tapos, copy natin yung plus 4. Pwede namang dire-diretso na yan. Pero, pakita lang natin. Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. And then, plus 4. So, we have negative 4 plus 4, which is 0. So, the answer for f of negative 1 is 0. Okay. So, next, let's, let, let's proceed to f of 0. So, ayan. So, let's proceed to f of 0. So, f of 0, it means 0 naman yung substitute natin dito. Same function tayo, ba? Dito sa ating mga uh, x. So, magiging 0, a uh, negative 0, and then squared plus 3x. So, magiging 3 times 0. And then, we have plus 4. Ayan. And then, simplify. So, negative, ah, uh, 0 times 0 is 0. So, negative. So, hindi naman natin pwedeng lagyan na negative 0. So, 0 na yan. 0. And then, 3 times 0, 0 pa din. So, plus 0. And then, 4, copy. So, simplify. 0 plus 0 plus 4 is equal to 4. So, ito yung sagot natin sa f of 0. Next, last one, we have um, f of 2. So, evaluate natin yung f of 2. So, f of 2 means Yung 2 naman ang isa-substitute natin sa lahat ng x. Okay, so magiging negative. Labas ko lang yung negative. Lalabas nyo lagi yan. 2, and then meron tayo dito na exponent na 2 or square. Plus 3 times we have x. So magiging 3 times 2. Dahil sinabstitute natin yung 2 sa lahat ng x copy yung ating plus 4. Plus 4. Yan. And then, simplify. Equals 2 times 2 is 4 times may negative dito. So, we have negative 4. Next. Positive 3 times positive 2, we have positive 6 or plus 6. And then, copy natin yung plus 4. 4. So, simplify, negative 4 plus 6 plus positive 4, we have 6.
So, parang ganyan lang yan. Negative 4 plus positive 4 ay 0, diba? So, ano natira? 6. So, therefore, ang sagot natin sa f of negative 1 is 0. Para naman sa f of 0, we have 4. And then, for the f of 2, we have 6. So, again, ang tamang pag-evaluate ha, is substitute nyo yung uh, muna sa x yung number or yung given number. So, sa number 2 natin, ganyan, f of negative 2. So, sa number 1, dapat ito ay merong f of 3. Since, ang pinapa-evaluate sa atin ay 3. So, ganyan yung tamang pag susolve ng evaluating functions. So, yun lang class. Thank you so much. And this is only uh, part 1. So, part 2, ang isasample naman natin, paano kung ang given ay expression, hindi lang isang number. So, for example, evaluate f of x when x is equal to 3x squared plus 4. So, expression yung given. So, yun yung part 2 natin. So, thank you so much and God bless everyone.